Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on tab management in Vivaldi Browser. If you're like me, you may have a lot of tabs and they get really cluttered, and that's why it's super important to have a great tab management strategy. So we'll go through a few ideas on how you can do that. Vivaldi offers a wide range of options for managing your tabs, and in this video, we'll go over a whole bunch of them. So let's just get started. Tab stacking. This is a feature that allows you to group related tabs together and keep them organized. To stack tabs, simply drag one on top of another. You can expand or collapse a stack by clicking on the tab stack icon. Tab tiling. This is a way to view multiple tabs side by side, rather than stacked on top of each other. To tile tabs, right click on a tab and select Tile tab to right bottom from the menu. You can then adjust the size of the tabs by dragging the border between them. Reordering tabs. You can easily change the order of your tabs by dragging and dropping them into the desired position, either from the tab bar or the window panel. Pinning tabs. Pin tabs stay fixed to the left side of the tab bar or the top and are always accessible, even when you have a lot of other tabs open. To pin a tab, just right click on it and select pin tab. Mute tabs. If you have a tab that is playing audio and it's getting annoying, you can mute it by right clicking on a tab and selecting mute tab. We also have a lot more advanced options in the settings. Duplicate tabs. If you want to have the same web page open in multiple tabs, you can duplicate the tab by right clicking on it and selecting duplicate tab. Close tabs to the right or left. If you want to quickly close all the tabs to the right of the current tab, you can right click on the tab and select close tabs to the right. Close other tabs. If you want to close all tabs except the current tab or the ones you've selected, you can right click on the tab and select close other tabs. Reopen close tabs. If you accidentally close a tab or you want to reopen a tab that you closed earlier, you can do so by right clicking on the plus button on the tab bar and selecting reopen close tabs, or you can just select them from the trash. Tab stacks and alternative views. Vivaldi's OG tab stack view, Compact, takes up no more space than a single tab. This keeps the browser window tidy and is an efficient and streamlined way to quickly access a large number of tabs. While compact tabs are still a great choice for those of you who wish to maximize screen space, Vivaldi's other two tab stack varieties provide you more ways to avoid tab overload. The newest of these is accordion tabs. This allows you to expand and collapse a tab stack with a click. Typically, you would use accordion tabs to toggle between showing and hiding the content associated with them. This works great for revealing or hiding information in a very limited amount of space. You can enable the accordion tab feature in settings tabs. If you prefer your accordions to stay open, you can use the arrow. For full control, you can turn off auto expand in settings. View and manage tabs in the window panel. From the window panel, you can drag tabs to change the order, create tab stacks, or even tile tab stacks to view them side by side, just like in the regular tab bar. Just right click on the tab stack and select tile from the drop down menu. But the best thing about the window panel is that you can also use the handy search feature to find any tab by title. Saving sessions. Research any topic with as many tabs as you need, then save a selection of open tabs, or all of them, as a session for your revisit later. For example, you can save a session with your research for travel destinations, now that places are open again. To create a session, use the control or shift keys to make a selection, then right click on one of the selected tabs to open the context menu and select Save Selected Tabs as a Session. You can also start typing Save Selected Tabs as a Session in quick commands if you prefer. To open a save session, just click on the File Open Save Session menu or start typing Open Save Sessions in quick commands. Quick commands. Quick commands are absolutely essential for many of our users. Open quick commands with F2 on Windows or Linux, or Command E on Mac. This lists all the open tabs in the current window. If you have a large number of tabs, you'll want to filter down the list. Start typing the page title or the domain, and the list gets shorter. Tab cycling. Tab cycling is useful if you keep a lot of tabs open, and you want to speed up navigating between them. Use the keyboard shortcut Control-Tab to cycle through your open tabs. To enable cycling, 
go to Settings, Tabs, Tab Features, and Tab Cycling. Here you can choose between Cycle in Recently Used Order or Cycle in Tab Order. You can also choose how to display your tabs in the Tab Cycler. They can appear as thumbnails, the Horizontal Cycler, or as a list of titles, the Vertical Cycler. View Tab Thumbnails. Another way to stay on top of your tabs is to use Tab Thumbnails. To see Tab Thumbnails for each tab in your Tabs bar, enable Tab Thumbnails option under Tab Display. To show or hide the thumbnails, double click on the line between the tab and the address bar, or drag up and down on the same line. Hibernate Tabs. Having hundreds of tabs open can be a drag on any machine. Save resources with Tab Hibernation. This puts a tab, or a group of tabs, to sleep until you need them. Right-click on the active tab and select the option Hibernate Background Tabs. Whenever a tab gains focus, it will be loaded again. There are so many ways to manipulate tabs in Vivaldi, and we've only really brushed the surface, but I hopefully we've covered a few things that will be useful to you and maybe your friends. So share this with others, particularly those who are new to Vivaldi, to learn about the new features, and remember to like and subscribe. Bye for now.